The rice false smut disease is caused by the fungus known as Ustilaginodia virens or U virens. The disease, which occurs in more than 40 countries, especially in rice producing countries of Asia, but also in the USA, reduces both grain yield and grain quality. In Ghana, places like Diapompo in the Jusujabin district and Timaso in the Jurassic Dumasi district are affected by the disease. Just like penicillin, penicillin is now used as a, 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 an antibiotic, used worldwide, everywhere, to fight bacterial infections. But as of now, some mi microorganisms are growing resistance to these infections, to these drugs. So I was thinking, you bearing a stubborn rice disease, if I can get it to work, if I can investigate it and get some activity, antimicrobial, antioxidants or anti-inflammatory activity from it, then we can actually replace this drug that the microorganisms have grown resistance to. We can replace them with these new variants. The final year thesis supervised by Dr. John Mensah set out to separate a pure sample of the fungus. So for the anti-inflammation work, we realized that the, I used the standard Dexa, Metasone and Diclofenac as my standard. Those are the drugs in the market right now that are being used to fight anti-inflammation, that are being used to fight inflammation diseases. So I compared my work, I compared my results, my, I used my extract on a chick model to see how well, the results I also get. If I use Dexa, the, the standard, the Dexa and the Diclo, and I use my extract, which one will be best? From my results, I got good results. My my extract was able to work effectively, like the like the Dexa, like the Diclo that are also in the market. It wasn't very much better than them, but than the standard, but it was comparable. It had I gave me comparable results, so my results were good. It has so in conclusion, my extract has anti-inflammation activity. Judith is still carrying out investigation on other properties of the fungus. Reporting for Joy News, Kwesi Debra.